from Stacked. Today we're back in the east of Singapore. We're along the Jalan Yunos area and we're going to be taking a look at a modern luxe three-bedroom penthouse that has been customized to suit the homeowner's lifestyle. With practicality at its core, this home employs a good mix of functionality and style that is spread across the two floors of the penthouse. So let's get right to it and begin this tour. If you love home and decor just like us, visit Stack Store now to refresh your home. Let me just start out with a quick background about this home. This is a three-bedroom penthouse that is 1,658 square feet in size that's spread across two levels and the homeowners moved in in October 2022. So they've spent about $73,000 to revamp the unit into what we see today, this oak-themed modern luxe style. And they've placed a huge emphasis on mood lighting as well, which is something that we'll see in the tour later on. But as always, let us start off at the entrance. So as you step into this home, you have a built-in shoe cabinet over here finished in a similar dark wood colour to the front door. There has staggered openings that allow for recess lighting as well as display areas and ease of access for the homeowners. And on the opposite side, fluted panels in a similar colour as well. A full-length mirror over here to help to bounce light into this space. And finally, when it comes to flooring, there is a Siemens Greek looking vinyl that spreads across this entire unit, giving it a nice contrast of both dark and light tones. You're going to be able to see the stairs from here that actually takes you up to level 2 of the penthouse but we're going to focus on this ground floor for now. So right here, there is a height adjustable table for flexibility along with two black bar stools. Right above it, there is an open rack shelving that displays the homeowner's alcohol collection along with some other decor items. So this area is typically used as a work from home setup as the couple prefers to eat al fresco upstairs but in the event of rainy weather, this also doubles up as a makeshift dining and hosting area. Fronting the dining is the living room and over here the homeowners have gone with a simple three-seater sofa along with mini coffee tables and a large grey rug to demarcate this area. On the opposite side, you have a standalone TV console along with a 65-inch wall-mounted frame TV. All in all, this setup allows you to move around easily and also to access the balcony that's right next to this living room. You know, this isn't the widest balcony around, but when the glass doors are fully open, you do get an extension of the living room. And because most of the houses around this vicinity are pretty low rise, it is a mostly unblocked view that you get, along with this nice constant breeze that comes along with it. But for now, let's head back in to check out the rest of the common areas. Turning the corner, you'll find this extended corridor and it is through this pocket door where you'll find the kitchen that is separated from the main areas. Because there's not a lot of space here, the homeowners have put an extra thought into the materials and appliances. So on the floor, it uses anti-scratch tiles. On the counter, it's scented stone. And for the backsplash, this is covered in a Sorel panel. Along with recessed lighting, this does help to make this area feel warm and cozy. We've got a built-in spice rack over here, along with a dishwasher and even a dedicated laundry area. So just lots of utility packed into any available space. Directly across from the kitchen, we have the first common bedroom. So this room is currently used as a study and the homeowner has shared with us that a bulk of their rental cost comes from removing built-ins and hence they have opted for simple loose furniture to allow for the space to grow over time without spending too much money. And right next to the study is the second common bedroom. So this room is currently used as a study, but could also double up as a guest room, a second study, or even a kid's room in the future should they decide to expand their family. The homeowners are huge MMA fans, so it's no surprise that you'll find these prints proudly framed up at the end of the hallway. And across from the posters, you'll find the common bathroom. So over here, the floor and walls are covered in a grey textured towel. We've got a pair of hanging pendant lights with frosted windows behind. This does allow for natural ventilation and light while still providing privacy. On the other side, there is a dedicated shower area complete with a rain shower set. Right next to the common bathroom is the master. 
So the previous main door was actually infringing on the entrance to the master bathroom and thus the homeowners have switched it out to French doors for easier access. Initially, this room featured full-length L-shaped windows with a wardrobe on this side. However, upon consideration, the couple prioritized storage and thus they decided on this built-in wardrobe along this wall to suit their needs. Currently, this room fits a king-size bed. We've got mini bedside consoles as well as bay windows overlooking the pool. The master bathroom is finished in a darker theme and we've got the toilet and rain shower set in black as well to suit the style. We've got L-shaped windows in the shower, letting in lots of natural light that is gently reflected off the black textured tiles. But now that we've seen the entire ground floor, let us head upstairs to take a look at the rooftop. This stairway was completely revamped to suit the rest of the theme of the home. We've got the stairs and banisters finished in a dark wood that's consistent to what we've seen so far. Also, lots of natural light in this space, all thanks to the large L-shaped glass windows overhead. Finally, right at the top, there is a modern circular chandelier and that completes what is a simple and pleasant looking stairwell. to the rooftop, you're immediately greeted by open space. So flooring-wise, over here we have a whitewashed wood-looking porcelain towel that does help to add character. On the side, there is a door that leads you right out to the lift lobby for easy access. And as you move further in, you have a 8-seater outdoor dining set accompanied by an outdoor crank umbrella to help shelter you from the sun in the afternoon. And it's also here that the homeowner sets up a projector for movie screenings in the evenings. Just a couple of steps away, there is a dedicated barbecue area which the homeowners often utilize. So this area is semi-sheltered and it also comes with a sink. And serving as the backdrop to the barbecue set would be this brick partition wall which also acts as a nice contrast to the whitewash flooring. So as we continue exploring this area, you might have noticed there's a recess in this platform. So this used to be a jacuzzi but the homeowners have opted to switch it up for more storage. So now it comes in really handy in storing their barbecue and outdoor equipment. Heading up the platform, Platform, we are surrounded by these glass panel railings and it is here where you truly get to enjoy the surrounding panorama. So right here is an outdoor sofa set. It's a five-seater along with two tables and this is just such a fantastic place to host your friends and family or even just to wind down in the evenings after a long day at work. come to the end of the tour. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I did. If you'd like to read more about this development, you can head on over to stackedhomes.com editorial. The owners are open to selling this unit at an asking price of 2.5 million. So if you're interested, you can reach out to us at hello at stackedhomes.com. As usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave us a comment and hit that notification bell for updates on future videos. That's all that I have for you today. We'll see you in the next one.